Could you tell the Fire Red family a little bit about you? Because I know you're not just an artist. Yeah, yeah. Well, <laughs> I do a lot of things. I drum. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I play drums. I play steel bands. Yeah, then I play the corner. Wow. Yeah, then I play like in competitions for German nights and Ever nights and, you know, going for going of school. I'm going for competitions, come third one of up. Then I play basketball. Then after that, I reach England. Yeah. Play semi pro and professional ball. Okay. Like Riders and Mansfield Express, Coventry. And I used to play for a team in London named The Firm. Okay. And then I come back in Leicester and play for Leicester Warriors. Wow. Yeah, so. He's a proper like baller. A, yeah, he's a baller. <laughs> <ball. laughs> then. On the drumming side, I like the music side now. Mm. When I come here, I jump for Mid Down. I have a band named Ayaka and the Mid Down. Mm. Then one of my little virgin named Ashman. He told me, like, what well, you like to build a studio and we build a band and everything. So I said, You serious? Mm. So you're like, Yeah, man. And we start working on it. We start calling little friends and we start getting like an equalizer and mm. like an amps and two bits. Then his father comes now and gives us a jump. Okay. Give us our first acoustic drum and we started practice from there in my flat and mm. start calling like Basie, Michael, Kelly and releasing an Ayakaya and we start big from there, mm. do a couple gigs, play at Bayfoot um, Festival mm. and go from there now I went to Leeds, went into a competition, mm. I went there to sing. Yeah. But they were on a break. But I was so enough on soup, you know, when the kid in the candy shop, you see that drum, then you're like, whoo! Yeah. <laughs> and then they went, and this I like, okay, let me, wanna, let me jump on it. And the keyboard player, his name is Jeff. So he put on the rhythm box, and I was just like, I come on, like, whoo! And I started doing tiki tiki, and I started doing my thing, and my man, like, wow! Then the producer that brings us in now for the show, she comes in and sees me on the drum, and she said, like, her name is Diane. Mm. She said, um, Ho oh, oh, ho oh. ho! Um, if you win next year, win or lose, you still be in our job for next year. So from there now, I do the competition, come in third one up and the following year, mm. Jeff called me and said, well, look, okay, yeah, we're gonna do this band, a one plus band. Yeah. So from there now we start building a one plus band. Mm. Mm. Most of the times we go to like play in Manchester Carnival, mm. we do a lot of shows in London here, mm. all at the Nets and all that. Mm. Then we went to Manchester, Leeds, and we played in um, Preston, we played in Preston the first time. Yeah. Then we start building from there. And after that now we come to the singing side. <laughs> when we come to the singing side now, we're there, and I met Jenna once, when we were doing the mid down. Mm. And the day when he said like, yo, I tell him like we do a banner. And he like his energy. He's like, yo, he's always on his thing. Mm. To believe it. It's just like sometimes if you don't know passion, you'll think a person is ignorant or you yeah. think you like the two this and that's what we have to learn in the world mm. when a person passionate. Mm. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Because I can see you passionate about something, I'm thinking like, oh, you're always angry. Mm. Because I don't know what is passion. Mm. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So what's in my mind up to his thing? He don't play, that's like his life. And I realized like now I like basketball and I like drumming, so I have to consider what he's saying and how he's doing this thing. So I said, okay, I love that. Yeah. <laughs> so we did and we by a virgin. Mm. And we're sitting down and he said, yo, are you like, what, what's up with the studio and the music and everything? Yeah. And I said, we're still there. So he said, what's the rhythm? So what's the rhythm, man? You're not, well, Ashman not doing no rhythms. So he said, hear this. And from there, when I hear the rhythm again, I just like, I started a freestyle. <laughs> And then they like hold it there, and then that split about say five minutes. Mm. Man, my hit there, that's like, like a spiritual connection. Yeah. Mm. And I started this thing, and I started this thing like, Our wise man, we're here, and we'll increase learning, a man of understanding, shall we take on to wise counsel, 
And I start saying it again, when I start saying like The law of the wise is a fountain of life to depart from the slave of death My man says, oh, 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 oh. You have to do a combination right now I see my man do that He said, okay, music, come on now, he said Do the thing And I start singing again And from there, wow Collaborate there okay. About saying Maybe the, maybe the next day or the day after We don't allow the studio mm. We go straight into the studio Box it out Yeah And from there now It's just like Two magnets stick together Okay, when was, when was this? And that was last year, December Wow So we're going for a year now This December Yeah And to believe it I learned a lot Experienced a lot You see what I'm saying? And yeah I come out there And man, let me watch my first video that okay. name alone. How long? No, not how long. Thy servant. Thy yeah, servant. Okay. Yeah, I bring up thy servant. And the day we go hit the video for it and we box it out. And then I was like, okay, you know what? I gotta take this for real. Yeah. So when we box thy servant now, we come and then we start to do like shows. He said, he bring me to London in January. In the January, he said, yo, I'm gonna take you out and do this. And when I go there now, Yo, <laughs> to believe it, I've never been on a stage on my own to like, this is your stage. Yeah. So this, Jenna is the first man telling me, yo, I'm giving you a stage, you know. Mm. If it's five minutes, show me what you can do. Yeah. I take it, go on there. Butterfly hit me first because I was starting to like, yeah, and I step back and then I get in my elements. Yeah. Start doing it and I'm like, okay, yeah. So I sing a song named, you're beautiful, my love. And calmly, how fair and how pleasant you are. Oh, yeah, so fair as the sun, clear as the moon. Yeah, I wish that you was a seal upon my heart. Yeah. Oh, yeah, and then when I started to bust that, everyone started wheeling up and wheeling up and wheeling up. And they got a song named um, Love Injection, Little Injection, Little Injection. 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 Mm -hmm. When I wheel up the song. I said, yo, big man, um, please, maybe you don't play that boom, bang, bang. <laughs> and I was like, yo, I don't even know. I've never been in this piece. So I, just, I, I, don't, I don't know what to say. <laughs> so I'm on the stage and every time now, they have all the DJ deal with him. J and R. And he comes on and he pull up too. And my man said like, yo, you see how the man hold the mic? The man come for business. And and I was like, if you know I'm innocent of him, bro. <laughs> 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 just the butterfly, yeah. the straight, you know. But you know, when he stopped on my man, big me up good, and all what I can say to butterfly, like, yeah, man. And I was like, yo, that I come over that now, and then after that, I was like, okay, I think this is my first wake up call. Mm. The one I did now, I went my man, and we started Bill Williams. Mm. And then the quarantine comes and they will press on now. The quarantine come and like, try. yo, you know they say, press down, you know they say, chill back. We come like, chill back. Everyone locked down, we ain't know what's quarantine. We doing our thing, we building rhythms, we start to sing more songs. And I started to end up on like, you know, I have some songs there that I never let no one hear, you know. Mm. And once we get the right rhythm, I don't mind express myself on it. Mm. My master said, okay, I got rhythms to you, I know your voice. Yeah. And he started giving me some rhythms. Then, when the day now, when you do me the rhythms them now, he said like, okay, but, you get in there, you make it work. So, you wake up now until we end up and have an album. Mm -hmm. And then we get a 10-track album. Wow. And I was like, yo. <laughs> I got, wow. he said, look, you got some work to do, but you got to keep your meds on. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I end up and call it, said like, what are you going to call your album? And I didn't understand, you know what? I'm going to call it How Long. Mm. Mm. And the reason why you call it How Long, you know, at times in life, you have goals and dreams and, you know, you want to be somewhere. Mm. But now, we pray. You ask God for things. And you have to be patient with it. Mm. So me now, I come up on patience and believe in things and are humble. Mm. So now, when my spirit like, okay, this is what I'm looking for. And in me, I come up kind of on the rough side, so I always ask God to guide me. Mm. So when he guide me and my spirit say, hey, this, this is it. This is where I want you to let go my message and bring soul for the world, you know. Mm. 
I realized like, okay, so I said, yeah, that's why you call it, how long? Yeah. And, and the album, it has a song name, Lord Thou Has Search At Me. <clears throat> and that's the first song I ever sit down in England and write. Okay. And when I write it, it was there when I come here, like, you know, I don't really have no family here and everything. And why am I here? Mm. It come in my mind, like, many are called and few are chosen. Mm. Mm. So I say, like, oh, boy, yeah, how would I know that? Mm. So I'm away, just press on, sell, have my same mess what I have from home, bring it here, just look for the right person. Mm. And then when I did, thinking, like, how can I tap up? Mm. How can I tell him, like, yeah, thanks for life and everything, just for him alone? And I write that song like, why don't I search at me? So I like, no, no, has search at me. No, has no at me. No, has find me. No, has love me. No, has protect me. No, has heal me. No, has shield me. I said, oh Lord, no, has search at me and has find me. And I deliver my soul and trust in thee. Cause thou has hold my hands when I'm falling down. And I give thanks for you for no man uprising. And praise for thy understand my thoughts from afar. Whoa, whoa, yeah, eh, 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 And amen for my laying down. Let your knowledge acquainted with all of my ways. And all my parts, consider my heart, consider my soul, consider my thoughts. Oh no, no, and search me. And that's how it, that's how deep it touched me, you know. So yeah. when I, when I submit just by saying it, you now I'm getting cold and getting <laughs> through his you know. Because yeah. that's how I feel. And as I say, when I meet Jenna, I know it's just like, you know, like as you say, when you listen to a song or you listen to a voice. And, when the person making you know, yo, I see you, but you don't see yourself. Mm. He's one of that. He's like, he's telling me like, you gotta give. And before the most I come and beg with you while you go and just submit. I'm gonna take it, but hear what happened. I'm gonna come at you like a bullet. Mm. Because this ain't no joker, this is, you see what I'm saying? And from there, I'm just like, yeah. <clears throat> yeah. How did your family feel about your career choice? Well, my family, yeah, they they up for it like my son, him, my man, post my thing up every time. Howdy. Yeah, <laughs> sometimes you know we go and they say like, who's who's Kaziah? And we say, oh, that's my son. He said, my man, shaming up your thing. <laughs> 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 yeah. And the way he asked it to me, you know, like someone like, yo, this this person on it, like, wow, they love it more than me. So yeah. tell him, yo, that's my son. So we're like, whoa, okay. Yeah, yeah, my daughter now, she's the one like, I used to sing with the artist named Germania, mm -hmm. and he's on them YouTube, and she's going there and see, and she said, oh, dad, that's all the blue, like, dad, you know, I want to see you on YouTube, but not with no one, not backing up no one, mm -hmm. not drumming, mm -hmm. just singing, just like how you back up other people, and I sit on an hour like, Wow, <laughs> I never think my daughter would have like hit it like that. Yeah. So the way it touched me, I was like, okay, boom. So in that way, that was like an upliftment. That was my drive. Inspiration. And that's the word, my inspiration then. And from the time that now, I just like, no holding back. Yeah. So when I see my first video, and I was seeing it, and I did, the first video was fluffy back. No, the second video was fluffy bad. Yes, the yeah. second video was fluffy bad. And that comes up and start hitting up. Everyone yeah. like the hook tone. Fluffy bad, fluffy bad, fluffy bad, fluffy bad. Why can a flying book flip, flex the outfit as she bad? So we say, so, man, I was straight calabash. Yeah, I think pretty flip in my locks. I love dancehall and I listen, but now I never I think like, yo, 
that's gonna, I have to sit down and practice that. So my man, let you come and like, put that thing inside of me, like, I'm gonna give you a rhythm and that's gonna rock you out. You're like, you hear rhythm and you express yourself and, mm. and I've hit it from there. And <laughs> that's when the first gift, because when I tell her like, um, you know how I'm, I'm on YouTube? Mm -hmm. And she's like, yeah. When she says she's in the house and my daughter's skinny for her teeth to teeth. And I'm <laughs> like, okay, yeah, at least reach certain parts of where you want me to be. And yeah. it's, so it's like, no, I can't jump, jump off of it. The food that you I can't, no, I can't jump off of it. Mm -hmm. I can't. And when your daughter is an inspiration now, you gotta like, push on. That's the push on. Yeah. Why is music important to you? Well, to be honest, music, music is like my guidance. Mm -hmm. And why I say it's my guidance, when I was coming up, I coming up like rough, you know what I'm saying? And I used to listen like culture, burning sphere, you know, and when I listen to what they're saying, it's never about to like, even as kids my age don't want to listen to those kind of things. It's like, oh, those are not us, but Coming up as a wise kid and humble, I listen to what they're saying. Mm. And what they're showing me like, they ain't speaking for the child for in their time. They're speaking for me like a generation that coming up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. To know like, who you are and where you're gonna be. Because mm. when they say like, if you live in a glass house, don't you store. Mm. When I hear that sound first, that to me, that is taking <laughs> funny. I used to break people glass up. <laughs> yeah. I, do, I love to choke stones. So, <laughs> choke, and I was thinking like, what it mean? Mm. And then when I started like you go on elderly people now and you hear they get Bex and say, Oh, if you live in a glass house, that you're not stone. Yeah. And they said, Oh, the person my Bex. So now I started understanding in a wise way. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? And then when I started realize like now it's it's deep. Mm. But to the basic of it, I have to use the image that everyone will know and think in Beach Stone. We see glass house. Yeah. But if you live in one, at least everyone living in the stuff with glass, but you're gonna show something. Yeah. But just don't go. No one glass if you don't want, no one to break your glass. Yeah. <laughs> so it comes as human beings, as in humanity now. You mm. chop it like, in words, it's just like respect. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So live in a glass house, if you is unruly, you is the stone. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm gonna respect you. Yeah. But now when you try your stone, you know, all the time you're gonna break your glass. Yeah. My man gonna tell you that in the song, but if you take it out, it's not all the time, but when you crack it, I might break your glass back. <laughs> now you can. So that's how I listen it. And I come up there and then my other artists I have Garnet Silk and I listen to Bob Marley. And mm. Bob Marley was like an angel. Mm. When I say because I used to come up in Bush and there's a Russian man that raised me named Zari. You always listen to Bob Marley. Listen, Gregory Isaac, Kochi Rankin, you know. Enough artists, Bonnie Whaler, and when I did, on the Bob Marley side, that's what I like to guide me. Mm. On the Gregory Isaac side, that's when I start going to town and go to Watu. And I'm just here, I don't know what I'm saying to them, you see what I'm saying? Yeah, when true. I go to school, I come out now. That's the way for all you Yeah, but when my man said that, I was like, I write it down the paper. <laughs> If I want to say girl, or I would like, and my man say, like, meet me at the corner, you know. Yeah. But I don't know the whole thing at the avenue. I don't have an avenue down the corner now. Yeah. So now I was just thinking, like, yeah, meet you at the corner, I understand that. But what avenue? Yeah. But now, realize oh, now, true. hear what the thing that get you to me now. Because now there is no avenue, but you're going to meet me at the corner. Because yeah. you want to know what's the avenue. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So now, when it comes on, I realize, like, okay, yeah. And I listen, Gregory is like, and my man start listen, night nurse, and you have meet me at the corner, red rose for Gregory. Yeah. And Mr. Brown. Mr. Brown. And <laughs> all that. When, when it's up now, the first time I see Gregory Isaac, it was a place named Miller. Mm. Miller's by the sea, and don't get it wrong. Other artists come to my country, but when Gregory Isaac come in Antigua, it's just like, no woman want their boys. Mm. They have flowers and they just go on there. Mm. Everyone belongs to Gregory right now because they're going to sing his song, they're going to sing Night Nurse. Yeah. Mm. They're going to sing with me at the car. Yeah, and they start requesting. And I was like, yo, 
you know what I mean? If you cut it, but you left the big one. Yeah. Lonely Papa. So as a youth coming up now, and I listen, no, no, I never really like Lime around my age. Mm. So now, mm. during that now, I lie my own, not fasted. Mm. So when you lie my own bastards now, you hear like, oh, don't lie my own those bastards because in a way, as a kid coming up to say, not even if they like, you know, what's the got you it to for the weed thing and everything, but on the other side of it, what's the got you it, not even for weed, mm. to show kids certain things and how to roll. And mm. You can be on the corner, yes, but you have to know how to respect your corner. Mm. You see what I'm saying? And to respect your corner, you have to respect yourself. Mm. And the most thing to lack your corner mm. is to respect every elderly on in, in every block. Mm. And how you lack that is just like, you know what, I see Miss Mary, I was going to the pipe. You know what? Instead of we sit here and we find an iron thing, yeah, hey, what happened? Maybe you going to help Miss Mary go and mm. get some water, carry the bucket. Mm. Or oh, someone coming on there, she needs a bag and let me go and help her. But if you're going to sit on the corner and you're going to speak bad words and we're gonna think in your end. Mm. Now, we ain't gonna have a block. Mm. You see what I'm saying? Mm. Because, as in the ghetto, they say ghetto. But now, when I did, I watched an interview there, and my man said, like, you know, they were him and Greg Reiser. What was my name there? Leroy. Leroy. I was listening, I watched an interview with Leroy Jones. And he what he said, now, and that's. That come and make my day I laugh, it's like, yo, that's sweet. He said, you know what? We was the two ghetto Hollywood star, you know. Mm. But straight to the ghetto, they come for us, you know. Mm. And when he said that, I realized, wow. You know what I mean now? It make me look deep. Mm. You see what I'm saying? To realize now. So, if that can happen from in the ghetto, that means Hollywood build from in the ghetto. Hollywood experience and knowledge and wisdom and mm -hmm. how to they come from in the ghetto. Mm -hmm. Because now, say it like this, if you don't live a hard life, you you can't cry as hard as me that live in a hard life. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. If you never get white squad, you might be hungry, you might package, but no, you can't you can't cry like me and play like me. How mm -hmm. I'm gonna pay for it. Mm -hmm. And that's like I used to be on the street and my mates on the street and when I come into a house and I realize like, wow, yeah man. Everyone here is just living the same and now you're just saying like, take time mm. and then you'll get to understand. It's, it's good to wake up and you don't hear no one cussing and you see the birds and the bees and everything. But mm. now when you come into civilization, that was my, that was my real task of life to know mm. like, am I going to flip or oh, this is real? Because mm. my father, me and him used to always follow for one thing. Mm. If I have my friend and he come and he said, yo, I don't have this, I will just give it to him. Mm. And when I go, he rings his face like, oh, you think everyone is like you? And you think, so I tell him like, yeah, everyone got a heart. Everyone believe in one another. And he said, no. Mm. Sometimes even will come and smile in your face. Mm -hmm. But you don't know until you're on your face and you see him and pass you and say, oh, boy, cut the cheeks to the curve too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so now, I started to understand that and realize, but why just that's the only thing? Mm -hmm. And then I started to get it. Mm -hmm. And when it comes, you say, by your companion, you shall be known. Let me know deep. Now, you might take it because we take it like, oh, my man is a gangster and he used to do this to now. They're going to look at you and think you're like, you are that. No, you don't have to be. You can be in the gang and you are the peacemaker in all of it. Like mm -hmm. everyone humble. Mm -hmm. And then now maybe when you just move now, it's something that you just react. Yeah. But now you just did be honest there. Yeah. So when I studied that, I realized like now, I used to be around a lot of people that, you know, they do what they see in life that consume them and their liberty. You see what I'm saying? Mm. Because what's the thing is, no one is going to get up and just be that. Because no one ever born like that. You got to just like be how you live and what you go through in life to survive. That's all you got to is where it come on yeah. at the end. Mm. Mm. So now, <coughs> that's all it is. In <laughs> that's all the thing is. Do you believe in the Most High? Well, I believe and I trust. I put my everything. That's like, to be honest, with that question there, it's just like, without the Most High, I wouldn't be who I am. Mm. 
Mm. Mm. Yeah. My ways, my humbleness, mm. my everything because I used to be like an angry kid. And mm. even let's go back now, basketball and music. Mm. Those two was my savior. Mm. Mm. When I go on a car, I don't know how to express myself because expressing it is going to be deep. Mm. And then now my age group ain't going to understand it. So I take myself and I will go to bush and I will pray and you know, and then you know when you get up and you do something like yes, that is feeling you don't know where it comes from, but you just feel overwhelmed. Yeah. And when I do that and calm myself and play basketball and listen to music and sometimes I will out on the basketball court from twelve o'clock until about five in the morning just by myself. No. Yeah. Because now I got the energy inside of me that yeah. like no one can understand it. When I explain it to you, it's like I go so deep, you think I'm stupid. You see what I'm saying? So now, you can't be like, I don't want to talk. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Everyone can talk, but I will hear when I will laugh and I will. And you think, like, can't you talk? But if when I talk, now you think, like, ooh, my man go high, man. Mm -hmm. People just. Mm -hmm. So I kind of keep myself humble and know when is the time. So it's like, speak when you're spoken to. And so when you call. So yeah, yeah the Father, the Most High put that spirit inside of me. and. Even up to this day, as a man, I still feel that spirit, and it, it never failed me. Mm. To be honest, it never ever failed me. Never led me astray. I got you hard times, yeah. but it never ever like mm. you know what? Let me. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. So that's all. Right. <laughs> so how does it how does it he affect your work? Well, boy. <laughs> He everything in my work. <laughs> he is your work. Yeah, because my words, and to show you my work, my songs before he let me can sing them. As I say, yeah, time to drive for let me meet my life. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Because they wasn't my words. They wasn't my song. It's mm. not in the book to me to song. Yeah. They was. Scripture. My scripture, my mm. work, my defense. Mm. You see what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. and when you want to meet me or tell me anything, or, oh you stupid or look like you are you're black or you know what I'm saying? You must how less like bless up. Mm. <laughs> and you know, not even to put it deep, you know when you have someone come to you and they say provocation is there. Mm. And these are simple things we don't even like we have to bring back up now for the kids can understand the simplest of things now because to the technology and everything, they built for them. Yeah. We have to bring them down to the old school and let them know, okay, you know what, before technology you have to use your brains and think this and mm -hmm. that's what make you know you can make. So now you will show them like certain thoughts in the phone, mm. it's coming from you. But if you don't go in there and know how to handle it, that phone will make you miss it. Mm -hmm. You hear what they call it now? A smart smartphone. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, and when they're thinking now, what make it smart? My son look at me and said, Dad, you know, I said, is my phone smart? He said, no. Mm. I said, why? Because you can't talk to no one and turn your face to them, they can't see you that. <laughs> mm. I like, so what? So I don't have a phone that can see me and you see me. He said, no, but it's most of that. Mm. So I was like, wow. So now we have to realize that like, we have to teach our generation and the kids above us and reach them by basic things. And the basic things we can teach them to be like wisdom. Mm. Then they know what, what the value of wisdom is. Mm. Not to say wise and you might do this and say, oh, that's good. And then tomorrow when you're thinking like, nah, man. you're thinking like, oh, my goodness, it's gone. Mm. But when you teach them the value of things and they do it, they will know, well, they're not doing it to liberty. Yeah. But they're doing it to know they're imperfect. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Would you mind sharing the current struggles you feel a recording artist may face? Mm. Well. Yeah. Business as a recording artist, <laughs> the struggle that they face is just like, boy, sometimes maybe some like the publicity or maybe sometimes where they take the music to maybe to be the wrong producer. Mm. You see what I'm saying? Mm. The wrong because they have maybe have artists might go and sing everywhere. Yeah. And when he's finished now, he don't know where his bed is going. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Yeah, who wrote? <coughs> yeah. And then now, uh, he's thinking like, oh, okay, I've not seen nothing, so I'm going to sing, so I'm going to relax now. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But when you meet a producer, as I said, I have passion. And 
not just like oh you have a good voice but see something inside of you that mm. he wants mm. that now if it value you uh, I, I can make it value me mm. yeah. I see you see what I'm saying yeah and I think that's the that's the that's the thing as, as I say as a young artist coming in as a fresh artist coming in and look at it and see I think the right producer right yeah if you could give advice to an aspiring artist, what would it be? Mm. <coughs> aspiring artist. <coughs> Say <it> now. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, just don't stop. Don't stop. Don't stop. Follow your spirit. Mm. Never give up. And the biggest inspiration to give you this, when it comes harder, is because it's important mm. yeah. mm -hmm. and what you're achieving is important mm. so it comes harder Fire. and here what happen it's just right there yeah. mm. but because the righteousness is over here it's going to be hard for you to get it can't break you so it's going to stop you to let you break yourself mm. and it's right at the, just right on the fence mm. that's the biggest thing never give up what artists do you listen to mm -hmm. Wow, a lot. <laughs> Various artists. Across genres or just one genre? Nah, all genres. Okay. Even from Spanish art, but now I don't know no Spanish artists, but just for the rhythms. And, yeah. But now to say like, but when I come up, I listen to artists. I used to hook and like, well, I listen to the tuba. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like Snoop Dogg. And yeah. Then, as I say, I'm coming up and have the two and you know, it's up now. I never like the swearing mm -hmm. and the, the nigger thing and the, mm -hmm. you know, because now, why? Because I'm going to listen to a song mm -hmm. and I can go down the road and have my headphone and the person can walk and call me a nigger and I'm going to box him up and it. Yeah. But in my headphone, I'm listening to the same nigger. Yeah, mm -hmm. exactly. Mm -hmm. I'm listening to my, my favorite artist talking about nigger, but I can't let the person call me that. Yeah. Now, to me, that's kind of like, looking for somewhere that would have come up me mm. Mm. because now you're gonna have to watch what you said yeah and that's just necessity so, <laughs> so that's the <laughs> that's the thing so I come up to that i listen bob marley's and reggae and soca and salsa and blues and you know like mariah carey and bobby white and all those wow. yeah Oh, so like a bolton. <laughs> and then now what the thing is remember because when you play Steve Band now, Steve Band play a variety of music. Yeah. Because at one time you have to go maybe to a hotel and you play for a little buffet and yeah. you have to play some little bassanova and little jazz and the next time now you have the tourists you go on the beach, you're all soco and reggae and yeah. you see what I'm saying? So yeah. to that blend into the current. So blending too. So it's it's just like uh I'm like a pepper pot when mm -hmm. it comes to the music. Mm -hmm. As a German now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> what have you currently got in the pipeline? Pipeline album, ten track album coming out right now. <laughs> Name how long? Light. And I got speed of light. Is that the song we've got so, over it? Hmm? Is that the yeah. song we've got here? <clears throat> speed of light is a combination with the trio. Yeah. The combination of speed of light. Okay. And, uh, that's that's that's. That's all my combination song. But Fade for is moving to the speed of light. Faithful for grateful for all that I've got. Moving the speed of light. Girl still a play in a melox. Sweet is the voice and a consent comely. Love for the vine. Are you endure me? Moving the speed of light. Grateful for all that I've got. Clap. Speed of light. Banji mamu. Speed of light. <laughs> Fast everything. <laughs> I like that. Yeah, yeah. Speed of life. Yeah. Mm -hmm. When is that coming out? It's out. It's okay. Out. That's mm -hmm. out. Okay. And but my album that's coming out in next month. Okay. Yeah. That's the one you was telling me about earlier. That's how about like yeah for sure. So we have just one. What's the title of the album again? Mm -hmm. How long is thy servant? No, fluffy by Savvy. Mm -hmm. Um, chapter two. Small, isn't it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I love <laughs> Um, Fluffy Bag, Fluffy Thy bag. Servant, How Long is track number three? Thou Voice, 
which is on the Joe Biden voice, yeah. Yeah, of um, Grand Posse, Speed of Light, I'm No Different, for sure. I don't know. Oh, Smart and Wise. Smart and Wise. And Wise Man. And the Wise Man. And where can we get this? Where can we get this? You, say, you can get them on our web page, as my man say. Everywhere. Everywhere. From January. From January. <laughs> so you get them everywhere from January. Okay. Yeah. How can the Fiery Family keep in contact with you? Well, the Fiery Family can keep in contact with me. I'm on Instagram. Mm -hmm. The name is Bala Martin. Bala Martin? Yeah. Right, okay. And I'm on Facebook. As the same name, Courtney Davis, Bala Martin. Mm -hmm. And you can find me on the one gym. Bala Martin, so B A L L E R M A T I N. Okay. Yeah. Okay. B A V I S. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Please feel free to make a shout out to your world wishes. Yeah, my world wishes. <laughs> well, let's say, happy uh, Xmas to everyone and stay blessed, stay safe, and ask God for guidance and protectance every day and every step you take. You know, and every day you wake up. Just give thanks for another day and just ask that what is your purpose? Yeah, firewood. So we tell him, smart and wise, full of inspiration, elevate my mind towards motivation with good drive and determination. Say determination, smart and wise, full of inspiration, elevate my mind towards motivation with good vibes and determination. Say determination. Boom. Understanding. Be for positive. Be for elevation. That's the way to live. Yes. Fires. Lava.
meditation and understanding. Rasta man, medicine, overstanding. Educate your mind and not live like no swamp king. Melanin skin shine bright. Yo. Money up and make up the sway for your life. Family values like husband and wife. Empress and king, it is a natural choice. Don't sell out yourself like all them do Jesus Christ. Shall I take on to us? 